In this video, we will guide you how to fly Z6 Pro drone. Please make sure the Type A propellers be installed on the drone's arm A and the Type B propellers be installed on the drone's arm B. The green light on USB charging cable slowly flash when charging the drone battery. The light will be solid green after the battery is fully charged. Please insert an SD card before you fly to get better quality videos and pictures. This drone supports Max 128G SD card. Install the battery. The indicator on the remote control is solid red when charging. Remote control's indicator will be off once fully charged. Scan the QR code on the package or the quick start guide to download and install. Switch the power on on both the drone and remote control. Put the drone on horizontal position. Push the left joystick all the way forward, then all the way back. The indicator on the drone will stop flashing once paired, then connect to the drone's Wi-Fi with a phone. Put the drone on horizontal surface. Click Calibration on the app. The gyro calibration is completed after the lights changed from flashing to solid. Compass calibration. First step. Horizontally rotate the drone two to three turns until the lights changed from slow flashing to quick flashing. Second step. Vertically rotate the drone two to three turns until the lights changed from quick flashing to solid. Compass calibration is completed. Choose an outdoor open place to avoid any signal interference. Wait for about one minute to search enough satellites. Over 15 satellites will be more safer for flight. Now it is ready to fly. Note, the GPS auto return function will be triggered if the GPS signal is weak. 1. Unlock the motors. First step. Unlock the motors. Push both joysticks towards the inner corners or click the unlock icon in the app. Second step. Click one key takeoff, one key landing, ascend, descend, forward, backward, flying left, flying right, left rotation. Right rotation. The low speed is the default setting when the drone is turned on. To switch to high speed, give the right joystick a short press down. For the first time flying, you better use the beginner mode in case of losing the drone. You can set the flight distance and height here. When you can fly the drone very well, you can switch off the beginner mode. Hand gesture pictures and videos. You can take a selfie or start a video by using the corresponding hand gestures. Taking pictures or videos can be achieved by either pressing the button on the remote control or the app touch button. The front camera angle can be adjusted 90 degrees to get the desired camera angle while in flight. Entering GPS Follow Me. User's mobile phone will be default as center point. Circle flight. Pick an object and the drone will circle the target, always focused on the object. Waypoint flight is autonomous flight made easy. Simply plot out on a map where you want a drone to fly. One key auto return. Using GPS, the drone will auto return to the takeoff location and land on its own. When there is no GPS connection, the drone will automatically use optical flow positioning mode. 
turn on the tracking function and the drone will automatically detect the target. Click on the blue circle to lock the target. The drone will automatically follow the target in real time. Enter the hand control and the drone will automatically recognize the palm of the hand in the camera. The pilot can now move their hand to direct the flight of the drone. Flight plan is another option for autonomous flights. Open flight plan in the app and draw a path. The drone will do the rest and fly the pattern. Press the lens switch button to change the camera view from the front camera to the bottom facing camera. VR mode. Experience an immersive flying experience by entering the VR mode. By entering the social media sharing mode to edit, create and share photos and videos straight from the app.